Is that new? That's yeah, hers. She's oh. had it since graduation. Yeah, you okay. have had it Here's, since graduation. Yeah, I know. Okay, so she's got another funny story for you. Okay, so um, I'm a lightweight, oh. you know. And um, they, we were putting on harnesses for a uh, repelling wall. And the drill sergeant was tightening my uh, harness, making sure all the knots were good. You got to climb a wall? Mm hmm Well, we had to repel down a wall. Oh, golly. <laughs> How tall was it? 40 feet. 40, 40 50 feet. Well, I forget. It would have hurt if you hit the ground. Like oh, yeah. Yeah. But that was, like, impossible. <laughs> you could let go of the rope. You could fall backwards, upside down. You you wouldn't fall. That goes through as your... As long as there's someone on the other end. Through the, your legs, too. Mm, it goes through a harness. That's what he was trying Yeah. To. Yeah. He was checking to make sure all the knots were good. We did it out of rope, so we had to make sure it was all nice and tight. And uh, he was guessing my weight. He was like, are you sure you're Army Regulation? Can you be in the Army? <laughs> and I was like, yes, trust Sergeant. And he was like, how much do you weigh? What, 90 pounds? And I'm like, no, drill Sergeant. I weigh 115, I think, is what I weighed at the time. And he's like, I call bull crap before or after you go to the latrine. <laughs> I weigh 105. I weigh that, that's how much water <coughs> has left my legs and everything. Oh wow! See that dropped real fast. Are you still are you still eating li um, the insure here? Are they protein stuff? Uh, they give it to you here, free gratis. Yeah, well, it's not free. <laughs> 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 I yeah, people. but so you're eating well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had carrot cakes at night and salisbury steak. What'd you have for Christmas? Uh, would you believe uh, uh, prime rib? Prime rib. Wow. With a juice. Yeah. That was good. And like a a so nice dinner see, roll. We, we have turkey so much. <laughs> yeah. About every other day here. Oh, here, yeah. It's so wow. Prime rib. Okay, so prime rib and a roll, dinner roll. Green beans. Yeah. 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 Cranberry sauce? No. I oh. haven't had cranberry sauce since I've been here. Oh, man, we should have got her a can. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good, doesn't I it? Like, I like that. Do you like the chunky kind with the berries in it? I like it raw. Relish. Oh yeah. Her mom or her grandma, Steve's mom, made a really good cranberry <coughs> jello and served it on a yeah. leaf of jelly. lettuce. Yeah. yeah. No, that was that was black cherry, mom. That she served. Oh, that's right. Lettuce. That's right. Hers was a black cherry. I'm sorry. That's right. This time it was. But we Christmas. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day we went up, and then the next morning. The next morning, we had to celebrate the day later because of some of the nieces and or cousins were going to be a little later. What kind of weather was that? Oh, that's just it. Christmas, we went up Christmas Day, <coughs> and we celebrated the next day, but that morning on the 26th, black ice. And that's why her cousins were late getting to the dinner we, we had planned, and we had to leave that evening to come back home. But we hit the fog, Grandma, in like Lafayette area. Actually, pretty much when we left... His folks, it was pretty foggy, pre pretty bad. Oh, yeah. But we got to one place where the fog was so bad, you could not see past the front of the van. Did you ever go on a road that was dipping, you know? Oh, yeah. And the, woo! Fog, the fog was up here, and, and you go through that. You can't see anything. You get down here, it's clear. Oh, at the bottom? Oh, you got below the fog. Oh, wow. Got below the Never fog. did that. Oh, not that I know of. But it was, it got really bad to where, it was only for a few seconds, but we could not see anything. And it's like. Was it ice? It was black ice in the morning, then it thawed, and it was very nice, warm. It's warm out there now. Um, and then um, it got very foggy in the evening because of the warmth. But the, um, for just like a few seconds, Steve could see nothing. We were like stopped almost on the freeway. And then you're worried because then somebody's gonna 
plow into the back of you. And there were still idiots going 90 mile an hour because between, between Chicago and Indianapolis, there's only two lanes in either direction. Really? Two lanes? Two lanes. Two lanes. And then two lanes the other way. So you get the people going 90 what, in the what, passing what lane. What route is that? 65. I 65 is the main route, but but <laughs> two a divided highway, two going north, two going south. You know you're recording. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, you got to tell us, Grandma, what was your favorite Christmas gift ever? Ever ever. You couldn't wait to get it, and you can't believe you got it. I just think of it. Okay. What's she up to? I don't know. I don't know what she's thinking has time. That is hard. When I was a little girl, about six, we didn't have any mm. tree. Oh, okay. So we had those old long ribbed. Oh, yeah. We pinned them at the top and we hung them over the back of a chair, put the chair to put it to the bed. Oh, okay. And when, when Christmas Eve, it was terrible. Just four feet high. Oh. We was five, to, five miles from home. And Dad kept saying, Santa Claus is not coming tonight. He can't get out. <laughs> he's he's snowbound. Oh no! And I kept saying, "Oh yes, he is." Yes, <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> fixing my stuff, you know. After I went to bed, he went and put some boots and a couple of pairs of socks, his old coat, and walked five miles to the gypsy. Oh wow! It's, it was like a, a you know, a blizzard. Blizzard. Oh dear! It was still right. It was still snow. Mom said when he got back, his feet was frozen in his boots. Oh. See the sweat. Yeah. Right. Right. Wow. You know, he's a man that never showed love. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't have to show it. Mm-hmm. Wow. When I had diphtheria, I was. I was dying, really. Uh, Mama's voice got away, away. I was fading out, you know. He grabbed me up, walked back and forth and back and forth, and I had my face right in, the, in his yeah. crook of his neck. I said, Dad, am I going to die? He didn't say anything. And hot tears. Aw, fell onto you. Aw. He said, now that I can help it. <laughs> and Mom was following. My wind went off one time. She came by and, and uh, helped my neck out to take the re relief off of the trachea. Oh. To take it. <clears throat> and the, the doctor had been called. And he was coming with the family doctor. No hard roads at all. And about that time, they hit the door. And, and uh, Dr. Uh, Small, mm -hmm. he's a big man. Big man named Dr. Small. <laughs> he lives at me, he grabbed me from my dad and laid me off. He did this way with the dishes on the table. Oh, wow. And he grabbed me and stretched me out, took off his gloves and poked his big fingers down my throat. Oh. And uh, he had a silver tube. Right. Placed in there. Aww. He didn't get it in right, so he had to turn me back over and oh. try it again. I bet your mom was about, they probably had to tie her down. Mom said the green old junk came out about a couple. Oh, wow. And he laughed and he said, well, you're going to have a little while longer. Aww. And I couldn't eat for 10 days. Because it was all I wrong. I had to leave that in there. <gasps> oh, you had to leave it in? Mm -hmm. Get rid of the poison. Ew. 
So you don't, you don't have to show them with hugs and kisses. Mm. It's there. Yeah. I just remember grandma's. I remember how grandma showed love, man. She'd always say, ask your mom. And we'd go for the vanilla wafers in the white cupboard right there in the kitchen. <laughs> Can I have another one? Mom said I could. <laughs> You're talking about mom? Yeah. She's about Sally. Big. She was about big as a midget. <laughs> she was about five feet. Yeah. Dad was about five feet. See, I never remember Grandpa not in the wheelchair. I never remember him not in the wheelchair. I always remember Grandpa in the wheelchair. Uh -huh. We used to play under his wheelchair. Well, he was in the wheelchair seven years. Yeah. And he is, is, is he fused in, in that shape. Oh. And when he went to bed at night, he couldn't straighten out. It's just like did, he was, um, it's just like he was did he have a stroke? No, he, he sat in it so long oh. that his bones fused. Ooh. So he had to lay like a... Now, how old were you when you had diphtheria? My what? How old were you when you had the, the diphtheria? Six. So that was the Christmas that Santa wasn't going to come? Was that oh, the same oh thing? That, that, no, that was another time. Oh, okay. I think it was about five or six. And so what did he bring home? He brought home some shoes and socks uh, and stuff? I remember the uh, bright green stocking cap and orange um, banana. An orange banana? Orange and a banana. Oh, oh, orange and a banana, yeah. Those are my two favorite things in a stocking, even today. Yeah. Of course, uh, those old long stockings, it's yeah. a lot to fill. Yeah. And it couldn't be too fat. <laughs> um, what about, what about, um, was that at the old house, the old gray house? Oh, that was in uh, Ocali. Or was that the farmhouse? Farmhouse. Okay. Oh, man. So wh where did he go then? The store would have to be, where's the store at? New Berlin. Oh, okay. It's five miles away. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I only know the one store in New Berlin. <laughs> it's probably the only, like the five and dime, right? Well, that time uh, they had uh, two or three. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> and then a tornado went through there and destroyed some of the fields in the back. Well... It seemed weird not to be here at Christmas, and, and now we're, we're not getting to make our turtles before New Year's. Oh, look at them. They're easy. Don't I know. It's just looking forward to it, that's all. But I can't wait till you see your present. It's still being worked on. Uh, did you know that you boil um, condensed milk? Eco milk. Yeah. You boil it about two mi two hours. Two hours? And it's a, not a rolling boil. Yeah. Just but just simmer. Okay. But you have to do it on a double boiler, right? No, right down the water. The can and all. Oh. So when the time is up, you can take it out and it gets cold and yeah. it's solid. Oh, wow. It's solid. It's like, just like caramel. It okay. Like caramel. Okay. So that's what we ended up doing. That's how we're going to have to make them? So, so you get your uh, pecans, halves. Mm -hmm. Put one in the middle. You put one up here, down here, and there. That's the legs. Okay. <laughs> and you put this solid uh, mixture. Okay. By a spoonful on top of that. Okay. And it hardens, and then you take uh, uh, chocolate tidbits and melt them. Mm -hmm. Put on top of that. You got That's it. That's it. So you just you just heat the can and all for two hours. Okay. But what I forgot is, do you punch a hole? I I don't think so. Looks like it would explode, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, for sure. If you don't break the vacuum by punching a hole, it's going to change the boiling point. So I don't know. I don't think so. Where did you get the recipe from? I don't know. Oh, you've just always done it? <laughs> okay, we'll try it, but we'll be I, prepared I believe, in case it I explodes. I got that off of the uh, car, uh, milk can. Oh, okay. So it might be on the can. So we need to get, like, some Eagle 
um, condensed mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly. What, not the pet, but it's different, isn't it? Con it's sweet and condensed. It has to be yeah. or semi-sweet, I believe. It's good. Yeah. I accidentally got that instead of evaporated milk for a recipe once. The evaporated milk, you whip it, and it's like the whipped cream, mm -hmm. you know, so it's real fluffy. Mm -hmm. And it's like with that, you put it in the freeze. You put the, the glass bowl and the beaters in the freezer and get them really, really cold. But they have to be extremely clean. There can't be any film of, you know, soap and stuff on there. I never did that. Uh, and so you whip it until it makes real stiff peaks. And then you add, um, like, lemon jello that's kind of semi-solid. And that's how you make a lemon cheesecake. That's miracle stuff, isn't it? I know. But by mistake, I bought the sweet and condensed ones. <laughs> it didn't work at all. I'm like, I'm like whipping it and whipping it. It's like, I don't think this is right. It's turning into rubber. <laughs> <laughs> Live and learn. Oh, well. We're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> See where we get it from? I inherited it. <laughs> you inherited it? I think so. Yeah. It's nice for little nutty. Yeah. Who wants yeah. to be normal? Yeah. It's highly overrated. <laughs> we, we got a woman that works here, you know. She's, I think she's from Kentucky. Uh-oh. You say something to her and she'll say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And whatever you say, she agrees with you. Yeah. Wow. She's a doll. Who was I talking about Kentucky the other day? And I, I always go say that at Hockenberry, you know, it's like, okay, I'm ready. Now, you know, you want to talk Kentucky, go right ahead. I'll understand. And I, they're, like, so thrilled to have somebody that they don't have to pretend. Do you remember uh, uh, Laverne and yeah. Sis? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I get cards from them. Right, every year. <laughs> she put Aunt Demp. <laughs> Isn't that how she cribs. always calls? That's why she addresses it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and them cribs. Well, I was, here's the thing. They were always called Babe and Sis, so I didn't know their real names. I yeah. said, Mom, who's Edith? <laughs> you knew Babe died, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But she died, like, right before you turned 90, right? I don't know really what she died from. I really don't. I don't remember. Now, who was the one whose husband had the stroke? And he lingered for a while, and then he died. Was that sis or babe? I believe that was sis, yeah. Okay, so Laverne is babe's husband. No, is uh, Altamod. Altamod's name is babe or sis. Which one? Uh, they call her sis. There you go. And they, they had two sisters. Oh, they had two. Edith Bell was the other one. Okay, that's where I was getting lost. I go, Mom, she just came with Laverne. I don't know how. You say she's oh, dead. She looked good. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. But uh, there's no jobs in Michigan at all, those big car yeah. factories. Yeah, practice. and what do you think? They're throwing money at it. At closed down. And uh, so a couple of scissors bullets came down to work. Jeff is. Oh. And they went right out and got a job. Down in Texas? Okay. Many dollars a doubt. Wow. Good. Good for them. So they bear And the weather's it. a lot nicer too. Yeah. <laughs> so it didn't take okay, long cool. to get their family down. Good. Yeah, um when I talked to Aunt Cherry, I apologized first that she didn't know. And I said I gave mom the wrong number. You know, I told her about that. And then she she was like, and I called her really late. I called her like, it was like a quarter to 11 here. And I said, don't call her now. It's really late here. I said, and I'm really sorry. You know, I didn't want you to worry and stuff. But at the same time, I didn't, you know, we need a we need a protocol. If grandma's in the hospital, well, I, I let mom and dad know. Mom and dad let her know. And then I let Connie and Veronica know. And, oh, the, oh, let me turn this off. me up off the floor. I, I didn't have anything to wear or anything. Oh, you were in your 90? Uh -huh. Yeah. Steve's grandmother, um, Michelle's great-grandmother, uh, you know, on that side, she was sharp as a tack up until the very end. What bothered her was when she turned about 96, 
she couldn't see the music anymore. And she was a beautiful pianist. And she'd be the one that would go down to the rec room and play the piano. And it, it, that's what bothered her the most, is that mm -hmm. she couldn't see. She just wilted away, huh? Well, your body's, you know, 100 years. I mean, back in Abraham Day, that would work for, you know, you'd have another 300 left. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but here, yeah. it's kind of like, do you really want to live another 300 years like this? Really? I'm, I'm thinking it's not going to be long till we're all up there in glory land, really. You do get very depressed like me now. I, I get up, maybe I feel like jumping over the moon, you know. And the next day I am so Just down. tired? Oh, just blue down. Very down. What's the point kind of thing? Yeah. Well, I think if you don't have a hobby or something you're putting yourself into, like you're investing into something to be making a difference because... But here, here I am, I can't walk. Yeah. Without, yeah, but... Without a walk. But you can still paint and draw and pick up the phone and talk and pray for people and make us laugh. I mean, honestly, <laughs> there is a lot of power in a laughter. Yeah. And if you make one person laugh that day, you know that, okay, that's part of why you were here today. What? Is it time to go? 8.30, I guess it kind of is. She's tired of listening to this talk. Mm, not necessarily the talk. I'm just We've, we do have to go to another place yet before have, uh, have you had supper? yeah yeah we had a nice supper um